chainsaw etiquette. Bad chainsaw etiquette. What's happening, nice everybody? How's it going? I'm kind of reshooting this because I don't like the way it came out. So <sighs> I'm tired. It's been a long couple of days. My neighbor called me up from Maine and said tree came down and ripped all my power lines down. So I was coming up anyway, but I had to make phone calls to the power company and run up here and I've been chainsawing away and shoveling and trying to get this place going but uh here we are welcome to camp freedom this is this is my snowmobile house so there she is there's my beautiful little place let me back up and get it all in there Ooh, look at that look at that place Woo! yeah so it's been a lot of work this year you can see the difference in color maybe i stained it spent all the holidays up here all three major holidays in the summer and went nuts staining this place i got some more touch up to do but i did what i needed there's uh i thought that was an outhouse when i first got here but nope that's that was the old pump house for the water system it's got a hole in the floor and it stinks that's sure sure smelt like an outhouse i got a new well from the previous owner and it's too dark in there. I'm not going to get too into that. But there's my firewood and Mobile One snowmobile machine and 
camping transportation devices in there. So I got I gotta get uh I gotta get that worked on. I had to buy an A arm and a and a sway bar for what I smashed last year. So we'll get into that. <laughs> got many things going on, but I wanted to say hello. I wanted to thank, you know, I got friends that I run into that all watch. And I got some other channels that watch me, you know, and I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I got some nice people that say nice things and I wanted to say hello. I always wanted to show this little house. It would be nice to be here full time and have one of those channels where I can show you working on the place and getting the property going, but every time I run up here, it's a battle, it's an all night drive and use every bit of time I have to do what I'm doing. I don't even want to bother turning the camera on, scrambling up and down a ladder. So, whatever. I got all the stuff out of the driveway. You know, the power company put my line up and Spectrum. And uh, now I'm, uh, I did what I could. I got a bunch of other stuff to take down sometime. I got to weed this place out. It was uh, neglected. It was neglected. But uh, whatever. We'll get into it. And uh, we got some snow. It's supposed to be more on the way. Hopefully things will go well this year with some stuff. I got... Uh, I got cross-country skis. I got some other equipment, so I'm going to be doing some cold camping. Hopefully, I'll be able to pull off the mission I want to pull off with the skis. I got, uh, I got a drone, so we're going to have some footage. We'll see how that goes. And uh, you know what, man? Why don't you come on inside? The place is a mess. I got all my stuff everywhere. I got everything all over the place trying to straighten myself out. But uh, I've been meaning to do this for some time. So let me see here. I should have redid my GoPro better. Oh, let's see how this works out. I have no idea. This was ill planned, but this was it. This is my moment. So here we go. <laughs> let me see if I can give this a spin. I got a Harley battery blocking the. <laughs> Hauling a quad battery block in the tripod. Bring all my stuff and get it ready. Okay, here we go. You ready? Living room. Kitchen. Utility closet. Bathroom. Bedroom. And loft. Ta-da! That's the grand tour of Camp Freedom. That's all you need. That's all you got to do to check this place out. So, anyways, it's a nice little place. It's easy to deal with. I got my Vermont Castings power stove going. I'm on the grid. I got electric in a, in a bathroom. But it's nice. Just big enough to have a visitor come over. Had my nephew and some friends come over and one at a time and go snowmobiling, quadding. Stay in the loft. I got my bedroom, so it's all right. This place, it's fun. Guy before me put up glass doors. Finished this deck I'm standing on. Put a new metal roof. My neighbor that made the phone call, I think, did it with him. So, whatever, nice everybody. We'll see how this all goes this year. Hopefully, ah, uh, I'll be able to pull off the missions that I'm trying to pull off. So, I hope everyone has a good winter. I hope you have a good New Year and had a good Merry Christmas. I hope uh, everybody gets the snow that they're looking for and do the type of camping and the type of routine. I know some channels I watch got some different things going on. Maybe people bought some stoves and some shelters or got some different land they're checking out. You know? Um, so, I hope we all... Uh, Get to do our thing and have a good time. I'm sure at some point in time you'll see me on skis. 
And I'm sure at some point in time, you're going to see me hammering that throttle on that snow machine. That, that's a guarantee usually in my life. Until maybe the day I die. <laughs> so, all right, nice everybody. Thank you. And uh, I got a lot of work ahead of me. We'll see how it all goes. Take care. Place. We're beautiful people. All right, everybody. See ya.